What's going on, collective? I am back again. Star C, the uh, spiritual assassin, is back with more messages. This uh, message will be t pertaining to the divine masculine. The song that is on now is Trina. Here we go again. So someone could possibly be in a relationship with someone and cheating on them, or um, or is it nostalgia about another female? Maybe this female done called the phone, or maybe your male has called someone. Um, and your main chick is pissed the fuck off. She uh, is mad that you're entertaining another chick is what I'm getting from that song. Maybe somebody is going through that situation. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments below. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on pause. Okay, guys, so remember, please, to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Therefore, I can pull in you guys' energy. Also, um, I say things like he and she. Um... And that's just because of the face value. Remember, you can be your a male and be your female energy or be a female being your male energy. Please um, reverse the parts as need be so you can understand what's going on with your situation. Also, check out your birth chart. Your birth chart will give you a better perspective of what's going on with you, yourself as an individual, and as well as the things that you can accomplish in your life or the things that you need to work on. So it's very beneficial if you was to uh, pay attention to your um, birth chart. And I will soon be putting a link in the comment section so you guys can check it out. Remember to check my other videos for your sun, moon, um, Venus, Mercury um, placements. And let's go ahead and get started with these messages. So the channel messages, songs that I had today was uh, Drake, Hold On. That may be um, for someone that song right there. So look up these songs. They may be in sequence to whatever your situation is. All right, boom, there we go. So I have My Love with Jill Scott. Someone may be married once again. Um, and maybe a lover found out that they got in a relationship with someone else. And they like, how could you pick her over me? I was the best one that you had. So somebody might be in their feelings that you moved on to another relationship is what I'm getting from that song. But with the drag is hold on. So someone wants to want you to hold on for their love. So somebody, this could be a message for somebody else. Somebody may want you to hold on. They coming right back to get you is what I'm getting from that. I also have uh, Ace Hood and Chris Brown, body to body. Someone wants you close to them. Somebody wants to have sex with you, make love to you with body to body. I have also Tupac, keep your head up for anybody that may be going through something, some in any kind of issue that you may be going through. Tupac says, keep your head up. He hear you and he is uh, sending out positive vibes your way. I also have the song You by Jesse Powell. Someone is picking you. You are that spe special one for someone. And hell, they probably want to get married to you is what I'm getting from that. Somebody also wants to have a quickie with you. Um, this is hit maker fe featuring Queen Naja and Ty Dollar Signs. So somebody wants a quickie with you. And I also have Vibe Cartels, Fever. You are giving someone fever right now, Collective. I also have Alicia Keys, Best of Me. Um, take that song as it resonate. You may be the best of someone or someone think that you are the best part of them. Take that as it resonate. Also, I have angel number 244. You may want to look up that meaning and see what it means. So without, without further ado, let's go ahead and step into this reading. So this reading is for divine masculine energy pool, current energy. So right now I see that there's a lady here. Um, she could possibly be enjoying the fruits of her labor or will be enjoying the fruits of her labor. She's probably operating from her heart chakra with all this green, or she's probably in tune with the plants. Um... As you can see, uh, the seeds from the, the, the fruit right here, she's going to be um, blessed uh, with her harvest. Um, this card is stating, enjoy growth and reap your rewards. Mm -hmm. That's positive energy. Someone possibly got Pluto in their birth chart. There's an official person here that possibly want to give an ace of wands to someone. There could be a new project starting. This would be a good time to start a family. 
fertility with your ideas is assured, or this could be a token given from God. I feel like this is a token given from God, giving you the, um, the necessities that you need to move on. Possibly this official person may be getting a, um, a, a creativity thoughts from God. Hmm. Let's continue going. I also have the situation will improve. So whatever situation you are in, it will improve. But remember to meditate. Meditation brings answers. Yes, I'm talking to you, Spirit. Say yes, you, you. Damn. Yes, you. Tatiana was trying to was trying to rewrite your story. Who? Somebody was trying to take over your um destiny, um collective. Someone possibly you was close to was trying to get as close to you as they could could to take your story, to take your destiny away from you. They were trying to rewrite you, trying to write you out of your destiny. Who? Yeah, this was a past life situation in reverse. Somebody from your past life tried to write you out of your uh, destiny of what you're supposed to be doing out here. Yes, you collective. That's who I'm talking to. Someone that got Pluto on a birth chart. Yeah, this lady. That's reaping rewards. That's reaping her rewards from her hard labor. So many things remind me of you. Somebody is saying this. It's either you or them. Someone feel like being near you is intoxicating. I also see peace. You could be at peace with a situation. Or somebody who you're dealing with is at peace. But it says, I am being, being, I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. So you are transmuting all negative energy into positive energy. Thank God. That's great, collective. That is great. Loneliness, you may be feeling loneliness or the spirit worlds want you to know that you're not lonely. They, you, you, I know that I am never alone. So no, you, you know that you're not alone. You know that you're connected with the spirits, that they, they are your family. You also use an imagination. So you know that you're not alone. Maybe at one time you did feel like you was alone, but you realize that you had your spirit guides to actually guide you and help you. And you talk to them, them are your friends. Hell, shit. I know that's right because I resonate with that my damn self. Honestly, guys. Yeah, someone is in a stag energy. Trust and thrive. The process. Trust and thrive. Keep moving. Don't be stagnant. Keep, this is your stag energy. Yeah, there's a Shaolin monk here. Be graceful in movement and action. And I'll say see the prayer methods here. You might want to look up that spiritual animal. Yeah, somebody is going into hermit mode. Um, they are retreating and recharging and recovering from whatever issues that they may be going through or whatever knowledge that they want to come about. They're going inside themselves to um, introspect, to research, to uh, figure out what's the best thing to do. All right. I have somebody with the last name of Bailey here. I have a business partner that's here. And I have someone with the last name of Wyatt. Possibly Wyatt and Bailey may be um, connected some kind of way. Take the messages as, as they resonate. And if those names doesn't resonate, then it's, it's somebody that's in your energy that I'm also picking up on too. I also have um, angel number 909, the universe source fully supports you. So whatever that you're doing, continue to do it. You are fully supported by the universe and by source. Somebody um, with the ages of 40 to 50 is in this connection. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get some tarot. Let's get started. Ooh. Spirit, as I call upon you, source, to help me have the clarity to understand the situation that's going on. I ask for your wisdom. To deliver these messages as these messages come from you. Thank you, Source. As I pray for your protection and protection for the collective from anything that's harming us, we like to accept any positive vibes, any um, 
positive affirmations are way 10 times full. Anything that's negative, anybody that's trying to cause black magic upon us, we'd like to send that back out 10 times full back to sender. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, universe. Thank you, all forms of life for helping me deliver these messages. As we continue to help heal one another and heal ourselves in the process. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, I got Ace of Wands on the back of the deck. Spirit is giving you something. It's going to be very lucrative. Yeah, there's a fool here. Someone's ready to take a new journey. A new adventure. Um, start something new in life. This is the beginning of a new cycle. Yeah, somebody is healed. They are healing. They are healed. They are washing themselves off from whatever situation they done went through. They're balancing their emotions out. They have, they have, they have, or they will be walking through this thickness right here. This, this, this the thick. They go ahead and go through the thick, and follow their path towards their crown. Yeah, somebody's ready to travel to uh, calmer waters. They're pulling their swords down. They're tra and they have someone that they're with. They're traveling with, and he's ready to um, put his swords down and ready to travel to calmer waters. Yeah, this person that's a fool that's ready to start a new journey is ready to put down his swords and start a new journey. There could be possibly a message coming in. This person probably have young energy with the page of swords. This is an intelligent, confident person. Just coming in with a message with the birds I see. Um, maybe someone was juggling. I believe someone was juggling. Um, there was bad debts. Somebody was juggling. So somebody was juggling and giving more to, to one person than the other. This could be a business partner, um, a relationship. Um, take it as a resonate, guys. Partnership, business, -ship, relationship. Take the ship as you need to on who was juggling you and give them to one person more than the other. Somebody couldn't see what was going on. That's what I'm getting. Someone is taking stock of the pinnacles now, though. With the seven of pinnacles. So let's go ahead and get some extra spirit. Can you clarify the food for me, please? That's the King of Wands here. Here's Leo Sagittarius here. He's ready to take a new, um, a new leap of faith. A new, he's he's been enlightened to take a new path. His spirit guides with the full card is showing him. As you can see, he might not have much, but he is ready to start with this fertility, with this flower right here. That's showing that he's ready to grow and ready to um, begin something new. He has a spirit dog right here. Uh, his spirit dog is is cheering him on and and letting him know, come on, continue to go. On this path, he has been enlightened with the sun right here to go to this new path. <clears throat> yeah, he's ready to go back to it. He's ready to go towards a two of cups, a partnership, business ship, love ship, business ship. Take it as it resonates. But to me, this is speaking of a relationship. This is a love, a new love affair. Y'all will be synced in with one another. This is a uh, sound like it's God sent. It's God sent. Like you guys are meant to be with one another. Maybe you guys was in a past life um, relationship before. I feel like y'all been knowing each other for a, long, a while. Yeah. With the seven of wands energy, I have the eight of swords. Um, with the six of swords. The eight is clarified by the eight of swords. Someone was overwhelmed. Someone felt uh, possibly blinded or um, felt bounded or constricted to something. They possibly were self-sabotaging themselves. They was overwhelmed with problems, pro possibly personal issues they was going through that was keeping them from moving. Yeah, this emperor, Aries Leo Sage. Yep. So the emperor is also in his king of wands energy. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. Spirit, can I get some energy, please? Yeah, somebody's ready to come in with a um, pinnacle. With a king of... This is a, a knight of... 
<laughs> Sorry, guys. Nine of Pentacles. Someone went to some. Someone went and gave a pinnacle to the other party. This is what I'm getting. Or someone is about to give a pinnacle to someone else. Let's continue to pull the energy. I don't want to jump too ahead of myself. But yeah, someone may be about to. I feel like because this is a Knight of Pentacles. This is a Taurus. Pentacles is Earth. Pentacles. All my Earth signs. Somebody's coming in with a Pentacle. Possibly this King of Wands that was in his head is coming in with a Pentacle. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, so the King of Wands, sorry y'all, I just lost my train of thought, it happens. Okay, so we have the Fool coming in um, that's wanting to start a new journey, um, which is clarified by the King of Wands. Um, this is a this could be an Aries Leo Sage energy. Somebody somebody that you know that's an Aries Leo Sage, or your person could be carrying this energy. I feel like that in the past he possibly had went through something because of the Eight of Swords here. He was self-sabotaging himself. He felt like he was um confined down and, and blinded. Um, but the seven of swords as it's circling around him, it is letting me know that he could move, but he chose not to move. So he, he, he put himself in a situation, is stuck in a situation when he could have moved. But it seems like that he's traveling to calmer waters now. He's ready to put those swords down and go towards, uh, there's two people in this car, to, either to a child or to a mother or to, or just getting away from a situation. Um, he's ready to have, calm, he's ready to, to travel in calm, calm, calmer waters. He's ready to travel within calming waters. He's ready to put all his burdens down. Yeah. Possibly because he was juggling two women. Yeah. Breadcrumbing one. But he wants to give a pinnacle. Maybe the one he was breadcrumbing, he want to give a pinnacle to them. I don't know. That's um that's what I'm picking up. That's what I believe it is. That's what I felt that's what I feel like it is. Because evidently the one that he was with, of course, she got all the pinnacles, or she got majority of the pinnacles. So now he wants to come in and Give his pinnacle to the one that he was uh, breadcrumbing. Hmm. That could be it. Let's continue to pull the energy. Yeah, he wants to give this person the ten of pinnacles, or he see ten of he see this person as a ten of pinnacles, or he wants ten of pinnacles with this person, the one he was breadcrumbing. Spirit, can you clarify the King of Wands? Yeah, he's coming in with an Ace of Pentacles, guys. He is wanting to give someone a pinnacle. This union, this this will be divinely guided. Spirit could be giving you a token, or this person will be giving you a token. You just may be getting both, but I feel like in my heart that that someone is ready to um, invest in you. It's a good time to invest in your money and materials. Success will be with this connection. Yeah. You have strength in this inner. You have strength. You have courage. You have tamed the beast within yourself. Or this female, possibly he was breadcrumbing. She knows how to tame. She knows how to tame him. She knows how to calm the beast down. Like, look at how he's looking. Like, she, yes, that's all I wanted was to be just rubbed on and being attentive to. You know, he wanted love. You could tell he looks like he just wanted love, and she just healing him down. Like it's okay, it's okay, it's gonna be okay, and that gave him strength to come to her. You got the ability to adore adversity. You hit, this person could have came in inner strength or doing some uh, shadow work. That's why he's ready to offer this Ace of Pentacles. Spirit, can you clarify the Eight of Swords for me, please? Yeah, 
Yeah, somebody had walked away from a situation with the Five of Swords that wasn't serving them no good, any good. And this possibly left uh, the other person or other people that he was dealing with um, in disbelief and uh, feeling some type of way because he chose to walk away. The reason why he chose to walk away because whatever connection that he was in, it was self-sabotaging self himself in. He felt like he um, couldn't move. He felt restrained. He felt confined. So he said, fuck this. I'm, I'm, I'm finna slash their necks off. I'm gone. So he chose himself and decided to travel to calmer waters. And then when he was able to travel to, towards calmer waters, he was able to put those swords down. So he picked a uh, the best journey that was for him and just said, fuck it. And I, that's what something stood up for yourself. Great. Good job, masculine. You did a good job. I'm proud of you. So, yeah, because somebody was keeping uh, secrets and being mischievous. He said, fuck this shit. I'm out. Yep, he's, and that's the motherfucking truth, the Ace of Swords. <laughs> but he has, but he was stuck for a second though in limbo with the um the hangman about this um this this pinnacle he's about to give to this next this other person. Spirit, can you clarify the nine of pentacles for me, please? So we have the Queen of Swords here. So there is someone, he wants to give this Knight of Pentacles to the Queen of Swords. This is someone who do not take no crap from anyone. She will off your head at any time. You better come correct with her. She will put you in your place. So <laughs> he's ready to come towards her. I feel like this Queen of Wands is the one that he um, breadcrumb for the simple fact, you know, she got them probably feeling like, well, dang, he did me like this. I got a confirmation. <laughs> He did me like this, so I got to got to stand my ground. This probably, while her going through what she went through, it put her in an energy to where she had to protect herself. So she will not be breadcrumbed again is what I'm getting. Yeah, she found out somebody was, uh, was being sneaky and mischievous. She found out about these secrets or she felt she felt something was going on about a situation ship about this business ship yeah well maybe somebody want to come in yeah it was found out yeah hold up so we got the page of swords here there's a message coming in um Somebody that's very intelligent, confident. It's a message coming in with the um, page of swords. A young energy that's coming in, possibly about a partnership that was trying to come in. Okay, so there was a young energy coming in with a um, young energy. You may have advice about something. Okay, anyway, I believe, okay, let's just say, he, okay, Pedro Swartz, he's coming in with some kind of message. I see the birds in the picture. Um, he's very um, acknowledgeable. He's very wise for his age. You may can benefit for some advice from this person. Possibly you want to have, uh, he wanted to work as a team with you, with the Three of Pentacles. But someone was being mischievous about this three of pentacles. See, see, nope, nope, nope. He was being sneaky. So, yeah, the the, the <laughs> it was this was a third party um situation. So someone was coming in. They thought they was gonna have this three this this three of pentacle relationship going on. Someone didn't tell the queen of pentacles about this three of pentacles situation that's going on, and this is what put the energy in the seven of swords. But now this person want to come, yeah, because he was offering a pinnacle. He was offering, a, he was still offering a pinnacle to the Queen of Swords. He was offering a pinnacle to the Queen of Swords. He was, still, but he was being mischievous and calculated, uh, being very sneaky about this three of pinnacles situation. But he came in like it was all good, like this was good advice, or he came in thinking like he was going to be able to get away with this. When he actually, when he breadcrumbs somebody. Like, come on, that ain't. <laughs> Let me pull some more energy. 
So now that he find now that he realized whoever he bred from, he don't want them no more because they could have been they could have been in their seven of swords energy. He decides to go walk away from that situation, go to Karma Waters because something else was found out here. I bet you this person was in a third party energy because there's sneaky behavior here. But he was trying to be sneaky with you. With somebody else. And he was giving her more than he was giving you. And as I look at the Nine of Pentacles, yeah, it, the card is going towards her. But then he comes across, but he still want to have, but he want to be sneaky with this Queen of Swords, still want to hold her own. Be sneaky with the Queen of Swords. Don't let her know that he's in a relationship. And that's the motherfucking message that came through. Shit. Yeah. Now, now this person is in the seven of wands energy. This person is on the defense now. Probably fighting against this goddamn person that uh he was being sneaky and conniving with. The one he was goddamn uh, giving all the pinnacles to. Now there's been a new wheel of fortune. Somebody want to start something new now with the ace of pinnacles. Because he want to offer this wand to support someone. Who he want to offer this wand to, spirit? Somebody that's giving them strength. Ooh. Ain't no far spirit. Yeah, that was a tower moment. Like I said, what I tell y'all, man? <laughs> the tower moment with that one, he was goddamn giving all that. Well, he was uh, that one, he wasn't breadcrumbing. Yeah, it was a tower moment. You damn right it was. That's why he feel guarded and uh, and can't come and can't come towards you because he fucking guarded. Or he probably is coming towards you, but he can't give you his heart because he got his heart ripped out his damn chest by the woman that he loved, that he supposedly loved. She did his ass good. Yep. Now he's in defense. Now he feel like he got to fight off the community or fight this person off because he don't want to be with that motherfucker no more. Yeah, that was a bad time. That was bad advice. You took you took the wrong motherfucking route. All right, so hope that message fits you guys. But what, like I said, collect if he wants to travel towards you, he said. I mean, you could take him back if you want to, if that's what your heart desires. I'm not here to tell you what to do, but follow your heart. You know what I'm saying? Go to to the Most High. Pray about this situation. Yes, you. This situation will improve. Spirit says, possibly somebody with the last name's White Bailey, business partner here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and get some more cards out. Let's go ahead and finish up this reading. Uh-oh. Let's get the Kepler deck out. deck is expect expectation so someone could be expecting something somebody is in a poverty like mindset possibly about a child or somebody in child like behavior there's a woman in occupation here someone who's very good at her job very detailed is enlightened by the most high Yeah, someone is in bad health here. You need to go get your health checked out, either mentally or physically. Go to a doctor, or um, if you're not, don't have to go to a doctor. Get uh, figure out what it is that's going on with it in your mental and fix that, please. Yeah, someone is on their way to a new pathway. Yeah, someone is in thought about this. Um, a lady, he's a soldier. Possibly about this woman that's in occupation. Yeah, someone. Someone would not be doing, going to distant horizon with someone. Someone who is in poverty mindset would not be going to distant horizon. Possibly this main male would not be going to distant horizon with someone. Someone is working real hard at something. Yeah, this woman in occupation is working real hard on her craft. There's a house with stability upright. Yeah, there's a community that's here that's, um, that's involved. 
in this connection. Possibly uh, someone that's in poverty mindset with distant horizon and community. So the community possibly is talking about uh, this person that's in poverty mindset. That will uh, they possibly talking about how the main male will not be going to distant horizon with someone. That possibly that's what I'm getting. Yeah, they talking about this emperor and this main female. The community is talking about the community is talking about this. The community is talking about this emperor and this main female about how they were not they are not going to distant horizon maybe they had long plans of being together but uh, something must have happened to where that journey has been with a complete stop has been stopped with a complete stop now it has somebody into poverty mindset yeah this man is a nostalgia over this other female this man is a nostalgia over this hard working woman that's in her occupation that's into her crafting that's into her um Whatever that she do, she pays very, uh, very, uh, very close attention to. She's inspired by the Most High. Well, what I'm getting from the light bulb on the card right here. Let me show you so you can see. See that light bulb right there? She's very inspired by the Most High. She has great ideas that come to her. She's very meticulous as she crafts. She could be, she could possibly be um, coming up with new ideas. Um, she's probably a business person and crafts. Loves what she do with a passion. Is what I'm getting. Also, someone will be starting a new pathway. So I see transformation. I see this big light um, with the cardinals. In the, if you see the cardinals, north, south, east, and west, earth, wind, fire. What is it? Earth, wind, fire. Shit, y'all. <laughs> Excuse me on that, y'all gotta look it up. But those are the four cardinals, though, and that's just let me know that you are um, intertwining with your um, your energies and you are balancing out so you can travel with this new pathway. Oh, 